Welcome to another episode of Real Chemistry. Today, we're going to be talking about esterification. That's right, esterification. Or, to put it more simply, we're going to talk about how to make an ester. We make an ester from two compounds, a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Let's look at a formal definition, work a problem, and then do a few practice problems. Okay, so esterification is the reaction of a carboxylic acid and an alcohol to form an ester and water. An acid catalyst is required. Okay, so we're going to use an acid catalyst here. That's what's shown right here. And we're going to be reacting this guy, which is our carboxylic acid. So that's the carboxylic acid with an alcohol. That's the one with just the OH group. Now, what happens when we do this reaction is we actually take this OH and this H and we get rid of them. And they're going to become water. At the same time, a bond is going to be formed between this oxygen and this carbon, okay? So that's kind of the pattern. And I'm gonna give you some step-by-step -step rules to follow to always get this right. But we're gonna start by drawing our carboxylic acid. And we had an OH, but we know actually that goes away. So I'm gonna get rid of that OH. And then we're gonna go straight to drawing this O here. So it's almost nice if what you do is you circle what's gonna become water and you realize that's going to go away, and the other things are just going to be linked up. This whole half is going to be brought into contact with that guy. Okay, so now we have our oxygen from our alcohol. And then notice it has one, two carbons after it, so we're just going to go up one, two. There you go. That's our ester. And of course, we also have a water. We don't really care about the water as a product. It's not what we're trying to make when we run an esterification reaction. But it is formed, and it is helpful to think about so that we remember what goes away from our carboxylic acid and our alcohol. Let's work two more practice problems. Okay, so it says complete the esterification reaction below. And here's the steps. Rewrite the carboxylic acid without the OH group. Okay, bond the O of the alcohol to the C double O bond of the carboxylic acid. Got it. And drop the H and the OH of the alcohol. And water is going to be our second product. So basically, right, we're going to be getting rid of that and that and bonding them together otherwise. But let's follow these instructions step by step. First, rewrite the carboxylic acid group without the OH. So we got H3C going down to a chlorine and then up to a double bonded oxygen. And we would have the OH, but we're gonna get rid of that. That's gonna be going to water, okay? Then it says bond the O of the alcohol, okay, so that's that guy, to the carboxylic acid. So we're going to go straight to an O, which of course we know we need to do because that's part of what an ester is. And then we're just going to finish up drawing our alcohol as one, two, three carbons in this case. One, two, three carbons. Okay, and then the other product is going to be water. So again, one way that I kind of like to think about it is we just have this half of this molecule and this half of this molecule where our H and OH have gone away, and we're just bringing those together and bonding them. So if we have any substituents like this chlorine, or say we had a substituent here, those just come along for the ride and we just don't change them. Notice we got the chlorine still over here, right? So we just carry along those substituents for the ride. This next practice problem is really gonna force us to do that because it looks a little scary. We have what's called a benzoic acid, which is still a carboxylic acid. So here's a carboxylic acid. It's got the OH bonded to a carbon, double bonded to an oxygen. And we're still reacting it with an alcohol. Here you go, that guy's methanol. And uh, I've also drawn them rotated so that we have to think just a little bit more about drawing this product, okay? So this is getting a little bit harder. But we can follow the same steps. Rewrite the carboxylic acid without the OH group. Okay, so that means we're just gonna rewrite our benzoic acid without the OH. And we'll add our double bonds. And those double bonds need a little work. Let's make them a little neater. There we go. And we'll go up to our carbon, which is double bonded to an oxygen. I won't use C, there we go. And we would have an OH, but that's what we're gonna be getting rid of. That's gonna go to water, so it's gone. And now we're gonna link it up with the O of our alcohol. So remember, this OH is gonna go away and that H is gonna go away. So we'll link it directly to the O. And now, how many carbons are here? Just one. So you can go and just draw a line. Technically, that's fine. Uh, I prefer to just go ahead and add the carbon and hydrogens when there's only one carbon. So that's esterification reactions. We just link up a carboxylic acid and our alcohol to make an ester.